Hello, I'm Robert Donoghue from the Environmental Learning Research Centre. And this series of short videos has been made um, with the Handprints for Change Teacher Education Handbook that we developed um, through collaborative research with teachers. And it was centered on activating handprint learning actions in primary schools initially, and then it extended far beyond the scope of this into school and community approaches, into high school and tertiary education, as many of the um, practical ways of doing things came out. Um, we developed this around open questions for activating ESD as inclusive processes of learning-led change. And the teachers exemplified exactly the same uh, questions and problems that they experienced as was um, explored in the UNESCO research, namely knowledge of these environmental topics and sustainability questions, the question of the pedagogy to use, the assessment of competencies and systems thinking, the um, coverage of the subjects in their um, curriculum, the sourcing of equipment, and one important one is the opportunities for action taking. So in our work with teachers, we looked at um, a knowledge uh, approach, exploring pedagogy and looking at assessment. So in the knowledge sharing, what we were conscious of um, in the teacher education situation was how can key elements of a new social contract proposed by UNESCO for education be activated through the inclusive planning of ESD and subject teaching? And here we look at the contract um, documents and we look at um, lesson planning with an example of Nguni cattle from the South African situation. And what came out throughout this work is real world story being central to ESD work. And this developed out of an exploration of how children inspired a handprint approach um, out of India and ethics led learning actions. So we look at the origins of handprint and um, ethic of care to explore an ethics centered approach with an exemplar of vervet monkeys in urban areas and the dilemmas associated with that. So this lifts out an ethics approach and we explore more deeply then real world story to enable ESDS action learning expansions in curriculum subject areas and here real world story and uh, an expansion of pedagogy, we use the example of nutrition. And this develops um, an issue-centered approach, the most common approach that everyone uh, uses in ESD. How can the sustainable development goals inform curriculum activated transformative learning was the next, using tools like the SDG wheel and exploring transformative learning around cultural, uh, historical, and heritage uh, being really important as foundations for understanding how the problems of the present and the issues and concerns of sustainability have come out of the histories that have produced them. So then the heritage styles fits into the triad of um, approaches to ESD. Then we look at um, the ESD competences and we look at assessment and the problem of can we combine ESD competences with the competences specified in the curriculum? And here we look at an exemplar that explores um, assessment for learning and assessment of learning. And in this way, we open up the field of ESD um, in uh, a series of these open questions to activate co-engaged learning-led ESD as processes that involve clarifying a new social contract for education around real-world emancipatory learning actions to engage our shared concerns towards more just and sustainable ways of being and doing things together, the handprint way. And here are some references and readings that you might find useful.